So while celebrities like Kim Kardashian, Jessica Alba, and Miranda Kerr turned to spray tanning for that perfect summer glow, we're wondering, is it really safe? Pop Sugar Health and Wellness reporter Zilana Momini is here to break it down in today's Fit or Fiction. Hi, Becca. So let's face it, if you're looking at a celebrity, you're looking at a spray tan. And while it's a great alternative to traditional tanning, people are really starting to question whether it's safe. We had a lot of questions on the site about whether to spray tan or not to spray tan. Well, it's an important inquiry. I mean, we're actually yeah. staining ourselves, which makes me think it's probably not that healthy. <laughs> yeah, well, the active ingredient in most sunless tanning products is a chemical called DHA, and it reacts with the top layers, our dead skin cells, and creates that brown, that brown tone that we all see, um, and it lasts for about a week. All right, so it's a chemical reaction versus just like an aesthetic mm -hmm. dye. That sounds a little scarier. Well, a, a study did find that highly concentrated DHA use in animals was linked to cancer, so now they're trying to figure out whether that actually applies to us. The FDA actually regards DHA as safe for use on the skin because in sunless tanning products, it's usually a really small amount, and they say it doesn't penetrate past you know, the top layer, but it still has an approved DHA use in spray tanning, so. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm also wondering, besides the fact of, you know, what's going on on your skin, you're also breathing in those fumes when you're exactly. in the spray tan booth. Yeah, I mean, the most current spray tanning booths give us faster, more even results, which is great, but it also increases the risk of getting it through our eyes, our mouth, and our nose, and that's really where the most concern lies, because that can get into our bloodstream quickly and cause some problems, potentially, and obviously, it's a most significant issue for people getting spray tans often, and yes, we're looking at you celebrities. Okay, so let's get down to the brass, or rather brawn tacks. Right. Are all forms of tanning essentially unsafe? Well, there's no direct evidence that DHA actually, you know, causes cancer in humans yet. So, you know, it's definitely a better alternative than UV ray tanning. Um, but just be smart about it. You know, don't get a spray tan weekly. And you also definitely want to wear a broad spectrum sunscreen, whether you're spray tanned or not, to protect yourself. So, so just take it easy on the tanning. Yes, please. All right, thanks, Z. <laughs>